I started DJing about 12 years ago. Um, I made the transition from heavy metal to sort of aggressive GABA and, and horrible music, which is just kind of run on the spot to um, really fast, horrible stuff. Um, I had a little decks room at, at the top of the house. I mean, um, the posters of like Jerry Halliwell and shit on the walls, and we just used to bang out hardcore from there, which was cool. So my mum's uh, great pleasure, of course. Uh, the biggest success or well, the biggest thing that's helped my success has probably been giving up uh, my job about three years ago. My parents, I think, even though it sounds sound a bit stupid as far as a career goes, I want to be a DJ or I want to make music, there's, there's, there's never any sort of guarantee that it's going to work. But they said just, they were sick of hearing me going on about it all the time and just said, you know, give up your job and, and make a go of it sort of thing. I think that's probably the best thing I ever did, really. There's no looking back. I went back to Wales to stay with my parents and they've got a hotel and the, the hotel's sort of general clientele is 70, 80 year old farts really sort of rustling along the hallways in their um, wheelchairs and stuff. Basically as soon as they go for, take a piss or, or pop to the loos and they just hear this <laughs> from under the, under the toilets when they're taking a shit. So of course they just go out of the toilets and ask reception, what's that? What's that downstairs? Is there a nightclub down there? And obviously it was just me um, tinkering away uh, at the early stages of this, which is cool. When I played on the boiler room, yeah, since that it's been um, a great response. It took a while for them to upload the video from when, it, when I actually played, but so many people and had seen it when, when it first was, when it was live. Um, so loads of gig requests. I think a lot of the guys when I was there said that they'd never seen the boiler room actually rock when I played my last track, which was the one I was telling you about before, Critical Distance. And as you can see on the videos, everyone's just going bonkers. And sometimes when you watch Boiler Room, it's quite reserved and everyone's sort of chin scratching and sort of watching what's going on. But when we went there, we sort of don't not take it too seriously and, and, and we had a really good party. I got really hot because I wore a really thick um, corduroy shirt as well. And I think that's the sweatiest I've been for some time. Hence the name Boiler Room. The thing that nobody knows about me that I'm sort of gradually every party that I go to, I manage to whip it out at some point, is um, the fact that I've got I Am Welsh tattooed in Cantonese on my right arm. I think personally it's one of the best tattoos in the world. Um, certainly for I mean, people when, they, when you actually pull it out and you're really serious, you're like, yeah, it's I Am Welsh in Cantonese and they think that you like it, um, which is always a good, a good reaction. So, yeah, I'm telling the world that. So, one of my party tricks is gone. It's not a very good one.